Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Can't believe we're in a different year already. And I hope that you all had a really lovely Christmas and enjoyed all those days, all those like weird days in between the two. Um, we had a good one, although it was rather different. And that's the reason for doing this video, which um, I'm sure you would have guessed by probably the title or the picture, what I've put on, so I don't know. Um, but the good news is that we have had our baby. So she's a she, it was a girl. So we didn't find out if we were having a boy or a girl, but we've had a girl. And yeah, I thought that I would just come on and film, I don't know really, just, I don't know what you want to call it, birth announcement, um, this little update, because I don't know when I'll be doing more sort of the planned videos. So um, I thought it would be good just to sort of come on, share my face and let you know that's where I've been. So some of you have probably guessed because I've not posted anything for a couple of weeks um yeah but she's actually three weeks old now so she is just here having a little feed as we speak so we haven't actually chosen a name for her yet so don't mind me if i keep referring to her as baby that's why <laughs> because she doesn't have a name so basically here i don't know if it's the same in other places but at least in england we have six weeks to register the birth and basically give them a name um Yes, yeah, so we haven't got that long, so we do need to decide. I think some people think that, um, well, <laughs> so yeah, I think some people think that it's quite bad we haven't named her yet. Um, or I think some people will assume that like me and Matt must be having like terrible arguments about it or something, <laughs> which that's not true. Um, obviously, like I say, we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl, but we kind of thought about the names. If we'd have had a boy, there were two names that we both agreed on that we both really liked so it definitely would have been one of those girl names it was the same last time where like I had a long list um but I didn't like narrow it down much because I just think I was just going to see what the baby was obviously last time we had a boy this time we have had a girl and I don't know there just there weren't any names that I loved um we had a couple and Matt still likes the couple that we liked and I like them but I don't love them he would probably have either one I have like before there just was there was a yeah like a long list which I, but none of them like really stood out to me um but recently i there are two names that i do really like but matt isn't so keen on them so it is tough um so yeah we can't agree but we're just not really um talking about it much to be honest. we don't have time i think because we're looking after arthur um and we're just busy and with christmas and stuff we're just not it's not like we sit down every day and think right what we're going to call the baby we haven't really spoken about it that much we both obviously know in the back of our heads um we need to like come up with a name that we both like um as much as as each other but it's just so hard but i don't want to like put too much pressure on us because i don't want to like choose a name and then think oh no like i you know i regret it basically because i do hear about people doing that um but we don't have long so obviously there is a pressure but um We'll get there. Well, we have to, unless we want to be fined. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so that was that. Um, did I say, yeah, so Matt and Arthur are just at the shop at the moment. So I thought it was a good chance just to be able to like sit down and talk because life is rather busy. As I said, obviously we've had Christmas anyway, but just like having two children is, um, it's quite it's just yeah it's quite busy <laughs> like matt is off work still which is nice um but yeah i just feel like i don't really have much chance to sort of stop so i thought that i would take this opportunity now and just sit down and say hello to you let you know that we've had the baby i've announced it on instagram um just because i'm on there a lot more and i've put like little bits on there so yeah if you if you follow me on there then you would have known but i know a lot of people only follow me on here um and i know somebody did say they were disappointed that i shared it on instagram but not on here but it's nothing personal <laughs> it's just like i'm on there a lot more than here obviously because i don't have time to like sit down and watch videos so i don't really open up this app and obviously it's crossed my mind a couple of times oh, i'll like you know i'll probably do a, a post about it which i have done um 
but yeah it's just obviously it's not really been something that's at the forefront of my mind but anyway yeah so I'll let you know now so she was actually born at 38 weeks and three days um, and by the way I will film I want to film a birth story I don't know when um, because obviously it's going to be a video that's a lot more I need to like probably write some notes well I have started writing notes about my birth story anyway but yeah like you know it'll probably take longer to film whereas this one is it'll probably be longer than I what I think actually but it's just me like rambling um, but yeah I definitely will film it so anyway she was born at 38 weeks and three which I wasn't really expecting but who knows obviously that is full term but it's quite like early on in that due period Arthur was nearly like a week later than that so yeah I kind of wasn't really expecting it but and literally like the day before I just packed my birth bags so I never got to film that video for you either <laughs> um because it all just happened so quickly um and yeah and a big thing big thing well to me it is anyway is that I had her at home so we had a home birth which was planned a lot of people were like oh did you plan that um because I hadn't really announced it I hadn't told well I'd told hardly anyone um only a couple of family members knew really so but yeah so it was lovely so we got to have her here um I had a water birth we had a pool so I'm looking over there because it was like there in front of the window um and yeah like a big reason not the only reason but a big reason was so just that like we thought it'd be better for Arthur that like he could be here he was asleep mainly but my mum was like upstairs with him um because it was night time so yeah but it was lovely just to have that I would definitely recommend it um you know if you've got a birth if you're pregnant and, and you're thinking about it then I would just say go for it um unfortunately she was making this noise they call it a grunting noise which I, I've heard about grunting but I wouldn't have I didn't know that's what that noise was um but apparently that is what they call grunting so she was doing it like intermittently while the midwives were here um and they were here for four hours before they actually left and they were like oh eventually they just said like keep an eye really um you know if it's if it's more consistent it goes on for longer then you probably would want to take her in in case there's an infection and then the midwife was leaving literally she was like in our porch and the baby started yeah the baby started making it like more and she came back in and she said oh no you well so she said it's up to you but you might want to think about taking her in anyway and i think she sort of said something about observations but i might, might be wrong um but i kind of so obviously we, were, we talked about it and we were like okay let's go because i think if she had been making that you know when you're at home and you're alone and it's night time we would have been really worried because you know infections can get bad pretty quickly um so we thought okay it's probably just best to get her checked out but we didn't realize because i i expected to them maybe just say okay we'll sort of like observe her and see what happens and but I'd either be sent home or at the most just you know I'd be in for like a few hours or overnight although this was like kind of the night early hours anyway um but basically we got in and the doctor basically straight away said we'll do a they call it an infection screen so they take a test but you don't hear back if it's an infection until 36 hours because they have to grow grow a culture so you don't know and so in the meantime if they suspect it they'll just pump the baby full of antibiotics anyway um which you have to have every 12 hours and and that's for a minimum of 36 hours because that's when you get the test results back so actually she didn't have an infection um which was great but obviously it was really annoy annoying because i really really didn't want her to have all those antibiotics because there's a lot of um it, it says they can infect their gut there's like i think there's like more chance of getting things like eczema and things like that so it's not great but obviously it's better to be safe than sorry I, I appreciate that but it's just you know it was a shame and obviously I had to be in hospital for um like I said probably, we probably got there about like 6 a.m so I had to stay that that day that night the next night and I didn't go get home until like probably seven that day so it was kind of what's that I don't know two full days two nights um which was gutting because obviously like I said part of the reason I had a home birth was so that I could be at home and with Arthur and not have to leave him but I did in the end um but luckily Matt obviously dropped me off at the hospital but luckily he got home I think at about seven in the morning and then I think he managed to get an hour of sleep and then Arthur woke up um so at least like one of us <laughs> at least he was there with him 
um, but yeah, it was gutting to like have to be in hospital. However, you know, that's a long time now and you know, that's, that's done. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I had my home birth. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of like all I wanted to say. Um, also, I'm not going to like go too much in it. I want to do a full on video just about the birth, about my labour. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the gist of it, I suppose. And yeah, we are both doing well now. So she is, um, what is she, three weeks old now. Um, and it's just gone so fast. I think, again, like I said, because I'm busy, because we've already got a child, it is just like extra busy and time has just flown. And I honestly can't believe <laughs> that she is three weeks. Um, so we are breastfeeding and that is going really well. She put on she was dinky when she was born she was really really small she looked exactly like arthur um <laughs> that's the first thing like we said when she was born we were like, oh, she's like arthur um but she's very small but she put on she put on like a tiny bit of weight at the day five check and then on the day 10 which was actually day 13 it was a bit late um she put on nearly a whole pound which was really good um so i don't know what she weighs now we've not got a health visitor for a couple more weeks yet three weeks actually um but yeah her clothes like she's got a nine pound outfit on and it seems i don't i don't know she wonder she can't be that heavy yet but it is quite short on her on her i think so um yeah so i think uh she's put on weight well and like i said yeah we're both good um and our are good like i said matt is off work still we have been out as a four three times so i've sort of like well, and, like, and a walk around here, but like probably out sort of in the car um, three times, <laughs> um, which yeah, it's not bad. And then like, you know, Matt, that's why Matt's just taking Arthur to a shop now because we just thought it's not worth like taking the baby just to go into shop. It's not that exciting, is it, for either of us? And she doesn't really like the car seat. So it's just, it's not worth <laughs> that really. But yeah, obviously Arthur, Arthur was so pleased to, I said I said to my husband, don't tell him that she, you know, is a girl. Like, cause like so they came in, um, they came in both days in the hospital to see me. And um when we said, Oh, it's a girl, he was like, Oh, that's just what I wanted. He was really, really excited. And he, he did say when I was pregnant, he did say he wanted a sister. But, but yeah, so a family of four, and it does feel it is it's quite surreal, really, that um we we are a family of four and I'm a mum of two. Um, but it's lovely, yeah, so we've got one boy, one girl, and yeah, just loving it, you know, she, obviously, I think she's absolutely beautiful, um, and that's why I want, like, I want a beautiful name for her, um, it's funny with Arthur, because we knew we liked that name, we pretty much knew, for sure, that's what we were going to call him, and when he was born, I feel like he, he did suit that name, there was another name as well, um, randomly, but we always kind of knew that we liked that name, whereas for her, yeah, it's just not, not that easy but we'd like to call her by a name so hopefully soon um but yeah she's lovely and so i kind of i really wanted to do a video about this um or at least talk about it on instagram about because you may have noticed and I've, I've kind of like referenced it before that i don't share arthur's face on here anymore um for several reasons and I, I i would quite like to do a video about it i think because i think a lot of people don't really understand why um or some people just want to know so it will be the same with her which i know is hard so if you followed my channel from the beginning i did i did used to show arthur's face and i did when he was a baby but with her i just think it doesn't feel because i'm not sharing arthur's i'm just not going to share hers just because she's a baby the reasons why i don't share are still relevant um you know or most of them anyway um few of them may be less relevant because she's that young but still um so you know you might see like the odd little like side profile or like little bits of her but I'm not going to show her like full on at the front um but yes but just trust me <laughs> she's very pretty and she's got lots of dark hair yeah she's got lots of dark hair she I won't obviously she's she's well she's actually come off now but I won't move the phone too much I don't want to um display myself too much but yeah she's got lovely dark hair and she still is quite small but you can definitely tell she's getting bigger like she does feel a lot bigger 
anyway yeah this video was meant to be like a quick little catch up and it's already nearly 20 minutes long um and i'm filming on my phone by the way so i hope the quality is not too bad um but my camera is just not very good um at all it keeps like turning off plus on my phone i can actually edit it on my phone so hopefully i'll be able to get this video out like fairly quickly i'll probably be like editing it during the night when I'm awake because I don't sleep much <laughs> I'm awake quite a lot in the night so yeah if I look tired obviously that's why but anyway yeah so we've had the baby so I don't know when I'll next come on here there's a few videos that I'd like to film obviously I really want to do my birth story for you maybe like a separate video about like home birth I don't know if just anyone wants like any questions answered let me know if there's any videos I never got to do my third trimester update I probably won't now um, I might do like what I found useful in my birth bags. Oh, she wasn't very happy then, she just wanted to go back on. <laughs> she doesn't actually cry very much, she's quite sleepy. Um, but she just sort of like feeds, sleeps, feeds, sleeps really, still at this age. Um, but yeah, if there's any like videos that I haven't mentioned that you want me to do, let me know. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, birth story and something to do with my birth bags. Maybe something else about home birth, it depends how many people want to know. Um, because I think it's something that's not really seen as the norm. Like you tell people, and this is why part of the reason I didn't tell many people, because I knew that, you know, some people would be a bit like, well, they might be a bit like, oh, home birth, are you sure? Like, is that safe? Because people didn't really like, understand it. Um, but yeah, if you're thinking about it or you're interested in it, then let me know if you've got any questions. And yeah, maybe I'll do a separate video about it. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think I better stop talking. <laughs> Me talking is probably waking her up a little bit. So yes, I will stop talking. But thank you so, so much for watching. Um, thank you to everyone on Instagram that congratulated me. And I'm thank you in advance because I'm sure there'll be some people commenting on this video. Um, and apologies if like I don't come back to you that quickly. But yeah, thanks so much for being here. Happy New Year, as I say. And I hope to see you soon. Bye, everyone. sleep again.